live streams. Oh, are we good? How's, how's chat going? Just gotta make sure this is working. That's why. How are we, tra how are we tracking? Hopefully, this is actually working. Oh yeah, dude. I'm trying to remember actually. His name definitely rings a bell. Anyway, I guess I'll just get started. So. I am going to talk about my predictions for the 2020 HTC exam starting on Monday. Uh, we got standard advanced extension two and we have extension one on Friday as well. So, I mean, I'll see how much I can get through. I also, after my predictions, I want to kind of go through some problems with you guys that you may have. If you do have any problems, just I think there's a link that you can send in the description or I can bring it up there I think that hopefully should come up um, but yeah any questions you can feel free to send to there um, if it's like an HSC exam you just put the year and the question number and if it's like a um, screenshot or something I think you should be able to upload that as well hopefully everything's working fine fingers crossed let me know if you can't hear me or anything or anything's not working but I guess I'll just get into it eh? So I'm going to talk a bit about predictions on what we're going to go through and what's going to be in the exam. We know a few things. We've got the sample paper. <laughs> yeah, extension two is a bit dicey. No, we'll, we'll get through it. Um, so we are going to look at, yeah, we'll look at standard first um, and then we'll go through all the courses as we go. So standard new content mainly networks actually and that's the main one that people have been thinking about and worrying about but if you look at the old papers networks only has about 10 percent of the paper um, in terms of the content so everyone was hyping this up as a really difficult topic and a, a really big weight kind of topic but actually um, you know 10 percent although it's a significant amount for one topic isn't a huge amount of grand scheme of things if you're thinking about just performing well on the exam. What I've got here is the breakdown of each of the courses. I want to chat a bit about um, what these outcomes mean. They actually correspond to topics. So if you scroll, this is the syllabus document I've just opened up on the left. And if you scroll down all the way to here, you can see these all match up to a different thing, right? So uh, MS12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You notice that nine has zero. That's because it's related to technology. So you can't really test technology in the exam. So that's why it's zero there, right? Um, now, when you look at something like this, which is weighted pretty high, that's probably where you want to put your content, uh, kind of your efforts towards. So MS12-1, MS2-12-1, it's not the most 
easy to pronounce names. That's just algebra, right? Algebra and graphics techniques. Obviously, these are pretty broad topics. Algebra and graphing can encompass like a lot of different things, um, but there's just an idea of what we're looking at. Uh, MS 2-12-2, that's data and stats. So that's stats over here. Question from Guru of Cheese. How much of prelim content is in HSC? Yeah, that depends on which course you're looking at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that a bit later on with advanced and stuff like that. But I would say for standard, um, a fair amount of it is. Because if you actually look at the standard topics, I'll just bring it up a bit bigger over here so you can actually see it. If you look at the standard topics uh, over, should be, where are they? Where are you? Here we go. So if you look at the standard topics over here, uh, it's actually quite a lot of that is assessed in the year 12 content as well. So, um, you know, all this algebra measurement, financial math stats, a lot of that is assessed in um, year 12 in the same kind of way. The only new thing there, like I said before, is networks. So um, that's just the thing to look out for if you're doing standard, but yeah. We'll get back to the mapping. Let's just put that aside again. Um, now, there's no figure exactly of how much content needs to be assessed for like from prelim to year 12, but um, generally um, how mass is different to other courses that you really need the stuff from year 11 to be studying in year 12, for the most part at least, but you know, there are a few exceptions here and there, um, but we'll have a look at those later on. Anyway, let me, let me keep going with this because I know there's a lot of courses to get through. Uh, twelve three. that's like measurement, but that's not like your um, formulas and stuff like that. That's the measurement in terms of like accuracy, like units of conversion. So that's like energy and stuff like that. Uh, MS 2-12-4, that's the stuff like 3D shapes, 3D and 2D shapes and that kind of stuff. So as you're looking at these topics, you kind of want to be thinking about the weighting. You can see like, you know, that's 25%. That's kind of where you want to be putting a lot of your efforts and stuff like that, right? Uh, 12-5, that's financial maths. So we've got financial maths here. Yeah, this is getting a bit cramped. I'll go around the left. Hopefully that's a bit better. MS 12-6, um, relationships between training quantities and algebraic. There's a more algebra and relationships. That's more looking, I actually reckon, so if I go back up, that probably seems more like linear algebra if I'm interpreting that correctly. And this one here, MS 12-6. Yeah, I mean, that also, yeah, it's a bit unclear. That, see, the, the issue with looking at this perspective is that there's a bit of overlap between all of these kind of things. So, I mean, it's still algebra again, but you know, one of them may be solving equations, one of them may be like graphing and things like that. So that's why it's a bit tricky to work with this one. We'll do our best though. 12-7, uh, uh, wow, that was really under kind of underweighted there. So that's uh, stats, but in particular bivariate stats, right? So that's when you have two sets of data that you're comparing. So not just your mean, median, mode, and quartiles and things like that. Total using networks. So you can see using networks here, 11%, I guess, from that one. So uh, 11%, uh, sorry, that's networks in it. Cool. So that's everything from standard. My predictions from this guy for standard, I think, I think we're going to see some harder network questions because for this one, the network questions were pretty pedestrian, I think, in the 2019 paper. And I think that's just like the new topic that we had. So they were looking at just kind of easing your way into it. Uh, I don't think that the content percentage would change too much. I think 10% is a fair amount. Like it's actually, for just one topic, it's quite a lot. But it's not, you know, an overly inflated amount that people were sort of predicting. So I think we're going to see some harder network questions for that. Yeah. Which textbooks are good for maths? Uh, textbooks that are good for maths, I mean, there's a lot of different ones. If you really want just a basic understanding, Maths and Focus is really good. Um, but then I think Cambridge really has a good all-round explanation of different things uh, because they are very mathematical. The authors are like very detailed and things like that. So that's why I think they are very good at explaining things um, properly, I suppose. I think Maths and Focus, you can get away with just applying simple problems and things like that. But when you have to explain or when you have to answer these really high level sort of band six kind of questions, 
a bit hard to extend yourself there. So you are going to have to look at, you know, HSC questions or, you know, Cambridge, I think really dives into the mathematics of that. Um, Fitzpatrick also similarly, but I think Cambridge just takes it to that next level as well. So yeah, YouTube's pretty good as well, I guess. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, let's get on to advanced because I know a lot of you guys are doing advanced stuff, right? So let's have a look at the outcomes here. I think it's going to be interesting to sort of break this down. So I'll bring up the content. Now, this is what um, grilled cheese was kind of asking about. Is like how much is, oh, let's get that back. How much is prelim going to be important here? And again, like they used to float around like numbers of, oh, you know, they have to assess 30% of prelim content and things like that. There's actually no mandated percentage. But what is really important, like I emphasized before, is that you really need to know your prelim for your year 12 content because they just flow naturally, unlike um, a lot of other subjects. I think particularly Hizzy, you know, I remember studying Echo. You could study like year 11 Echo and year 12 Echo, although you use the same kind of skills, you're just kind of um, starting new modules and topics, which you, you can't be assessed on anymore, right? So with maths, it's, it's pretty different with that. Anyway, let's, let's do the breakdown. So algebra, no surprises there. There's a huge percentage of algebra there. In saying that though, like, I mean, you do look at the marks that we have here. Um, they do actually have kind of like a 30-70 split there, funnily enough. So, yeah. All right, cool. We've got functions. So that is kind of formally addressed now in year 11. So functions is pretty, pretty high up there. We have trig. Again, trig, pretty safe to study that for that because, you know, there's quite a lot of content. Trig actually has two breakdowns. So we've got trig equations, actually. Trig equations and Emma eleven dash four. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Involving shapes, and this one is okay. So this one looks more like trig shapes, like applications of measurements. So maybe let's call that trig measurement. And then let's call this one here Emma eleven dash four. That's actually like trig identity stuff. So that's the stuff I just uploaded on that. So you can check that out if you want to. MA11-5, okay, that's that calculus. So year 11 calculus, probably basic stuff like product quotient rule, first principles, so that's calculus. MA11-6, well, nothing on index laws now. So obviously they can't assess everything. So, I mean, there's no guarantee that that won't be asked in the HSC exam. Um, MA11-7, that's probability. And that includes the new probability as well, like conditional and stuff like that. And and again, we're going to get technology and MA11-9 is like not really an important thing. So that's technology, yeah. Okay. So that's why that's not counted there. So we just kind of get rid of these. My thoughts on that. Well, it seems like algebra is very heavily weighted. But what's surprising to me is that probability is quite low on that mark distribution compared to, you know, like trig and functions have been in the course for a while. And so what I'd be expecting in this year's exam is that I think they're gonna ask a lot of new content stuff. So even in year 11, there's a lot of stuff that's new content, right? So that's like the conditional probability stuff. Um, they like to ask a lot of these kind of questions in the trial exams I've looked at be just because the past HSC exams don't really have them. So like stuff like conditional probability, I think is gonna be really important. Uh, discrete probability distributions, I think they'll like to ask a lot of stuff on. Um, and you can be asked on the mean and variance of those ones. So just watch out for those. Um, I'll go through a few of those problems a bit later on. I know some of you guys were asking about that. <laughs> hey, sorry, how you going? <laughs> cool. Uh, all right, let's look at year 12 because I think year 12 is the big chunk of it, right? It's looking at um, how can we think about the year 12 content, which is a priority for us. And obviously, if you want to be looking at band sixes and things like that, we need to be just looking at everything, basically. But can we prioritize things? And I think when you look at stuff like whatever these topics are, these are the things I'm looking at. Like right now, this is what you should be studying, right? So I'm actually going to skip straight to these. Three is calculus. No surprises there, right? Calculus is just a huge portion of year 12 mathematics events. <clears throat> and it just encompasses so much, you know, like sketching, um, stationary points, you know, rates of change. There might actually be a separate one for rates of change, so I'll, I'll hold on to that for now. Uh, seven and eight, 
Okay, so integration is its own separate topic. <laughs> and dash A. Okay, statistical processes. Um, that is also very vague, but let's see what the others are and then see if we can crack down on the specifics of that one. Cool. Um, financial maths. So MA12-1, we've got using algebraic and graphic techniques to linear model familiar and unfamiliar. Man, that is vague. Okay, so algebra. I'm going to be honest, that, that's pretty vague kind of dot points. So I'm not too sure what exactly encompasses that. Um, MA12-2, okay, so that's a bit more clear. Financial situations, we're looking at financial maths. And that is probably like the common content stuff, I reckon. So like your annuities and things like that. You can see it doesn't make up a big portion of the sample paper. And just like make it really clear, it's a sample paper, right? So we don't know what exactly is going to be the true flexion. But I would, I would say that it's a fair guess to say that um, they're going to be somewhat reflective, right? Okay, I think my iPad just <laughs> still waking up. There you go. All right, we're back. Cool. Um, yeah, let's keep going. MA 11-4. Arithmetic. Okay, arithmetic geometric series. Okay, that's um, interesting. So arithmetic plus geometric series. Cool. Um, let's keep having a look here. MA 11-6. Differentiation methods to solve problems. Hmm. <laughs> hey Jasper, how are you going? Oh man. <sighs> cool. What else have I missed here? Differentiation. Up here. And Nine, again, technology, and 10 is just kind of like a general sort of like communication thing. So we want to write too much about that. That's just technology, if you're wondering why it's zero. Technology and MA11-10. And that could be like really hard right now, hopefully. Yep, so supporting conclusions and communicating. Okay, so what's the takeaway from this, right? So like just kind of how we're talking about, right? Calculus, integration, statistics, that's going to be the ones we're going to look at. And I think my prediction for 2020 is that we are gonna see something with the stats, something kind of how we had the networks in last uh, year's standard paper that had about like, you know, 10%, you know, there's a fair chunk of waiting for one topic, but I'm hoping that the new content that they have here will be um, a bit more approachable so that you know, we can ease our way into it because they only put out one sample paper. And there's like honestly a lot of guesswork that's going into what these um, topics are going to be. So unfortunately, if you're doing your HSC this year, you are a bit of a guinea pig in terms of like, yeah, what you can be asked and things like that. So, I mean, future years will have a bit of a better idea, but this year it's, I guess, the saving grace is that everyone's in the same kind of situation. So, yeah. All right, extension one. Let's keep smashing this out. Just move this over here. Oh, no data. Yeah, I should check if it's still actually working here. Let's have a look. My computer is really struggling. So if it's not working, let me know in the chat. Just check everything. Out. Give that another go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if we can go. Let's try again. If not, cool. All right. All right. I mean, it says stream is healthy, but 
We'll see how we go. I'll just keep going for the next like 10 minutes and then, oh no, it says four again now. <laughs> I'll just finish this off and then I'll stop it there and then we'll try again a little bit later when my internet might be a bit more awake. Um, so, okay. Um, our extension one, let me just finish off our outcomes over here for what we had. Okay, now my computer's frozen. <laughs> we might have to redo. Oh no, we're back, we're back. Okay, so let's have a look at these outcomes here. No, struggling again. Our outcomes. So, any eleven one. So let's get back to it. So we've got algebra, and we've got let's scroll down. We've got graphing for any eleven two. Again, we've got more trig things. So extension one, we've got a lot of trig functions. We've got the inverse trig functions and things like that. So inverse trig. M11-4, uh, related rates, exponential growth. Wow, that really wasn't a lot of that. Exponential growth in there. M11-5, we've got perms and comms here. Perms and comms. And that, oh, M11-7, that's probably like a communication thing, yeah. yeah. So again, like 30% from prelims seems to be like the general sort of idea. Um, biggest ones there from algebra are like the graphing and things like that. So make sure you know that your quadratic inequalities, all that kind of stuff, that's what would be under that topic. Um, so we're seeing a running trend there. Now here's the prediction of how much of this new content is going to be in there, right? We've got our, 